In today's adventure, I'm taking this group of young people on a survival camp. They have to catch if they want to eat. Stay tuned for that. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Our group consists of young persons ranging from age 6 to 20, most of whom are early teenagers. We have left the campsite and is now heading towards the river to catch some fish. A few minutes later, after journeying through the mangrove for approximately 10 minutes, we are now at the river. These young men have been doing survival training with me a while now, and they are now getting the opportunity to put their skills to practice. I will not be assisting them, but just supervising. About two months ago, I taught this group of young people how to mount their own net. They were able to take materials and put together this net for themselves. Feed them, feed them. And in this survival camp, they are getting the opportunity to set their net and see if they can catch a meal. In the sense of true survival, if they don't catch, they don't eat. These survival programs that I run gives the young people tremendous confidence in themselves. This river is very deep and the campers have been well trained in swimming, especially in this river. But if wanted the diagonal. The net yes. does not reach the river bed. It just skims the surface. So only the fish that comes to the surface where the net is will get caught. Most of the fish that travel up and down this river will pass under the net. Let's see how these campers put their survival training to the test. Working together as a team, Brandon and Satish moves this fallen mangrove tree out of the path of the net. Satish, not touching. Yeah, he can't stand up there. Andreas taller than we and Andreas can't stand up there. Nah, you don't see where he reached it, but I will see the same man also. I do feel like it has no end. And Satish taller. Right. Somebody else, come with them there. One man hold the lead, one man hold the cork. So it wouldn't tangle. Crab <laughs> climbing up on my foot here too. Right, Andy, you feed them cork. I feed and them you feed them lead. Right? And then go pull. <laughs> Teamwork is a very important survival skill. Learning to work together as a team is what gets the job done and keeps everyone safe. All right, hold on, the reach. Mm -hmm. This is 1080p. Okay. Ah, boy, well, that is quality. Yeah, and 60 frames a second. And I could run a record 24 hours non stop. Well, you want to see some fun? What should you do this revise? And you touch the bottom yet? And you touch the bottom yet? Nah, touch the bottom, that's the end. If I go in the center. Nah, I don't want to. 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 I don't want to.
You see that circle in the water there? That is a fish that now jump there. Six hours later. Hey, this is coconut so cram. Um, feet um, crossing with man in the wild. And we are here going to check on the fishing experts to see what they catch. Let me go. Our oldest survival trainee is Andrea Supram. He has the YouTube channel Cooking with Supram. I will put a link in the description to his video of this adventure. Six hours later, the tide is high, the mangrove is flooded, and we are going to check the net. What a few hours ago was the riverbank is now covered in water. They are going to pull up the net right here. Right in that we set in the, the previous video that you see from before. The net, is, the net has caught some fish. It's going to be pulled up by the jumpers. And we can see what is the catch up today. Nah. We can lose some At least we know the problem. No, they don't. The first catch is a catfish. Okay. Bucket. Bucket man. Bucket. The bucket man is very excited to fill his bucket. Sir, I'm real glad I come. <laughs> come here and think the common man roof trust me. Yeah. Now can ready say you had boy days, I say you had boy days. I say when I was 20 and them can't think I say go down with some of family dung in the mangrove and thinking I say yeah look at photo that video to prove it. <laughs> exactly. Was that tree pick on the back to this bird? Not the back. Even on the sides. One on the back, two on the side. Two on the sides. Yeah. By, by the mouth. Yeah, on the edge of the gills. Yeah. 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 No. Sandeep, the bucket man, got so excited he had to get into the net. Sandeep is also a YouTuber. His channel is Sandeep Adventures. I will leave a link in the description to his video on this adventure. I get my first fish that I helped pull in. I'm very proud of myself, but we end up getting another one. This one is the first one that we got untangled, so let's get this one in the bucket. Hey, come on, that's why the bucket to me. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of fish. That's a lot. Of fish. One fish, two fish, three fish. We got plenty more to come. Plenty more to come. These young survivalists caught a lot of fish. It will be more than enough to feed them and in fact feed everyone else at the camp. The excitement and sense of accomplishment felt by these survivors is an indescribable feeling.
you can see it in their faces and their expressions. Some of the fish is cleaned and fried. And some of the fish was curried with green mangoes. And there is still enough fish left over to feed the camp for another two days. These survivors has proven themselves by passing their test. It's now time to feast. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Leave a like and definitely leave a comment. Your like and comments go a long way in helping this channel to grow. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon.